Now, go with me to Ezekiel 34. Ezekiel 34. Now, Ezekiel 34, of all the passages we're looking at today, Ezekiel 34 has the strongest rebuke for the leaders of the nation of Israel and their failure as shepherds. Ezekiel 34, verse 1. And the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Son of man, prophesy against the shepherds of Israel. Prophesy and say to them, Thus says the Lord God to the shepherds, Woe to the shepherds of Israel who feed themselves. Should not the shepherds feed the flocks? They're self-serving shepherds. Remember what Jesus said? I'm the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. Well, these bad shepherds thought the sheep existed for them, to benefit them, to feed them. You eat the fat and clothe yourselves with the wool. You slaughter the fatlings, but you do not feed the flock. Again, this is the primary job of a shepherd is to feed the flock. The weak you have not strengthened, nor have you healed those who were sick, nor bound up the broken, nor brought back what was driven away, nor sought what was lost. This is what a shepherd does. But with force and cruelty, you have ruled them. And so they were scattered because, look what it says, there was no shepherd. And they became food for all the beasts of the field when they were scattered. This is what Jesus is referring to in Matthew chapter 9 when he looks at the multitude and says they're like sheep having no shepherd. He's referring back to Ezekiel chapter 34. So just as he says here that they were... uh, Scattered because there was no shepherd in verse five. They were like sheep without a shepherd. Look at verse six. My sheep wandered through all the mountains and every high hill. Yes, my flock was scattered over the whole face of the earth and no one was seeking or searching for them. Therefore, you shepherds hear the word of the Lord. As I live, says the Lord God, surely because my flock became a prey And my flock became food for every beast of the field because there was no shepherd, nor did my shepherds search for my flock, but the shepherds fed themselves and did not feed the flock. Therefore, O shepherds, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord God, behold, I am against the shepherds. I'm against the shepherds. Notice here that the sheep belong to the Lord. They don't belong to the shepherd. And here the Lord God says, I'm against those shepherds. These bad shepherds. And I will require my flock at their hand. I will cause them to cease feeding the sheep. And the shepherds shall feed themselves no more. For I will deliver my flock from their mouths. God's going to deliver them out of uh, the mouth of these shepherds. He's going he's to take away these shepherds and, and rescue his own flock from them that you may no longer be food for them. Verse 11. For thus says the Lord God, look at verse 11. God speaking here. Indeed, I myself will search for my sheep and seek them out. As a shepherd seeks out his flock on that day, on the day he is among his scattered sheep, so will I seek out my sheep and deliver them from all the places where they were scattered on a cloudy and dark day. God says here uh, to the to the shepherds of Israel, those religious leaders, you have failed as shepherds. And you have injured my sheep. With your with your false teaching. And so now I'm going to remove you, I'm going to take the sheep away from you and rescue my sheep. And and God says here in verse 11, I myself will come and be the shepherd. I myself will search for my sheep. And seek them out. And I'll be their shepherd. Look down at verse 14. I will feed them in good pasture. And their fold shall be on the high mountains of Israel. There they shall lie down in a good fold. And feed in rich pasture on the mountains of Israel. I will feed my flock. And I will make them lie down. Says the Lord God. What does this remind you of? Psalm 23, right? 
Psalm 23, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. So in Ezekiel 34, the Lord God rebukes the shepherds of Israel, those religious leaders, and, and because they have misled the people, they've led the people astray with their teachings. And, so, and God says, I myself will search for my sheep. I will feed my flock. I will be their shepherd. Because you have failed to shepherd my people. I will come and I will be their shepherd. Now turn with me over to John chapter 10. John chapter 10. You know these verses. John chapter 10. Verse 11. John chapter 10, verse 11, Jesus says, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd gives his life for the sheep. This is one of Jesus's I am statements, equating himself with God. The good shepherd gives his life for the sheep, but a hireling, someone who's just hired to watch the sheep. He who is not the shepherd, one who does not own the sheep, sees the wolf coming and leaves the sheep and flees and the wolf catches the sheep and scatters them. A hireling is just hired to watch someone else's sheep. So a hireling is only in it for himself. And a hireling will not lay down his life for the sheep. And so any danger comes to the flock, the hireling's out of there and just allows the sheep to be devoured by the wolf. And again, he's equating this to the religious leaders of Israel. And how they treat God's people and what they do to God's people and how they just abandon God's people to be devoured by false teaching. So verse 13, the hireling flees because he's a hireling and does not care about the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my sheep and I am known by my own. 